Hello again, this is Matthias with Yellowcase, and I'm going to show you how to burn a blank CD or DVD on your Mac. And it's actually really, really simple. It's built in. You don't have to buy any software. So all I'm going to do is insert a blank CD. You can insert a blank CD or DVD. It doesn't matter. Just keep in mind that the blank DVD has a much larger capacity. So as soon as the computer detects it as a blank media, it's going to present you with this menu and you can select to open the blank CD in your finder, in iTunes, or in Disk Utility. If I inserted a blank DVD, it would have presented me with an additional option for opening it in iDVD. I can decide to cancel this operation by ejecting the CD and just going on with something else, or and I can check on this and make this my default action for when I insert a blank CD. So I am checking that and clicking on OK. So it's going to create a burn folder on my desktop. You'll notice it has this burn icon. looks like a little radioactive sign. And it gives it the default name Untitled CD. If this were a blank DVD, the name would be Untitled DVD. If I double click on that folder, you're going to notice a couple things. One, that Untitled CD also appears on my sidebar and to the right of it, a burn icon. There will also be a burn uh, button on the top right corner of that same window. I'm going to do one additional thing. You'll notice that on the bottom of this window there is no information. I'm going to go to the top of the screen and select View, Show Status Bar. By doing that, it tells me that there are zero items currently in this burn folder and that I have 735.6 megabytes available. So that's how much I can add to this folder before I burn it. Anything in excess of that will create an error. So I'm going to drag a couple files down here that I want to add to this burn folder. You'll notice as I add it, it subtracts uh, data. So it tells me that I now have 731.3 megabytes available. And to burn this, all I need to do is click on this button here, or this button here, or I can also click and drag on my uh, burn folder. And you'll notice my trash icon right now. Take a look at that. As I drag it, it turns into a burn icon. All I need to do is drag it and release on top of that burn icon, and it presents me with uh, this menu. I can give it a name. I'm going to call this My CD. I can choose the burn speed. Now, of course, most people will find it most convenient to select the fastest speed, in this case, 48 time. And I'm going to select 32. Why? Because you have less errors when you do it a little slower. So if you're having any errors burning your CDs and DVDs, lower the burn speed. Also, if this is something that you're going to burn multiple times, you can save a, a burn folder to, for example, my CD and I'm going to hit burn. You'll notice that it's writing tracks. This is the data on your uh, on the blank CD. And let's give it a little bit here to finish that process. It also tell you what percentage it's at. So how far along it is. Once that's done burning, you'll notice that it mounts the CD. You'll see it here on your desktop with the name My CD. And it left the burn CD on the desktop here called My CD in case I want to burn this multiple times. Whenever I'm done with that, all I need to do is drag that to the trash. You'll notice it no longer turns into a burn CD or a burn icon, I'm sorry, and I can delete that. So there you go. Here is now your burn CD really easily. Now when I drag it to the trash, a little eject button shows up. I can eject it out of my Mac and I'm ready to go. I want to point one thing out. When we first inserted a CD, it presented us with the option to save one of the actions as the default action. What if you want to change that? All you need to do is go to Apple, System Preferences. Under Hardware, select CDs and DVDs. And you can change the, the option when you insert a blank CD, open Finder. When you insert a blank DVD, 
in my case, I always select Open Finder as well, but maybe you do a lot of iDVD uh, work or you like to open it in iTunes for whatever reason. So you can select that here. I'm going to leave mine both on Open Finder. So there you go. Uh, that is how to burn your blank CDs and blank DVDs on a Mac. Hope this helps.